ShireSociety.com. Hello, this is Ron Paul with your weekly update for Monday, April 8th. is bringing in Maxim M. Litvinov, Soviet Commissar of Foreign Affairs. A common feature of authoritarian regimes is the criminalization of alternatives to government-controlled education. Dictators recognize the danger that free thought poses to their rule, and few things promote the thinking of unapproved thoughts like an education controlled by parents instead of the state. <laughs> That is why the National Socialist Nazi government of Germany outlawed homeschooling in 1938. Sadly, these Nazi-era restrictions on parental rights remain in law in Germany, leaving parents who wish greater control over their children's education without options. That is why in 2006, the Romaikis, a German couple who wanted to homeschool their three children for religious reasons, sought asylum in the United States. Immigration judge Lawrence Berman upheld their application for asylum, recognizing that the freedom of parents to homeschool was a basic human right. <laughs> Unfortunately, the current U.S. administration does not see it that way, and it has announced that it is appealing Judge Berman's decision. If the administration is successful, the Romaikis could be sent back to Germany, where they will be forced to send their children to schools whose teachings violate their religious beliefs. If they refuse, they face huge fines, jail time, or even the loss of custody of their children. The administration's appeal claims that the federal government has the constitutional authority to ban homeschooling in all 50 states. The truth is, the Constitution gives the federal government no power to control any aspect of education. Furthermore, parents who, like the Romaikis, have a religious motivation for homeschooling should be protected by the Free Exercise Clause of the First Amendment. The federal government's hostility to homeschooling is shared by officials at all levels of government. Representative Rouse? Now, are you trying to subvert the uh, legislative process by using bureaucracy to regulate homeschoolers? Is that a yes? I'm on my way to a meeting. Could I talk to you about this later? I'm not with a hammer in my face, no. Despite the movement's success in legalizing homeschooling in every state, many families are still subjected to harassment by local officials. The harassment ranges from home visits by child protective agencies to criminal prosecution for violating truancy laws. Every American who values liberty should support the homeschoolers' cause. If the government can usurp parental authority over something as fundamental as the education of their children, there is almost no area of parenthood off-limits to government interference. Homeschooling has proven to be an effective means of education. We are all familiar with the remarkable academic achievements, including in national spelling bees and other competitions by homeschooled children. In addition, homeschooled students generally fare better than their public school educated peers on all measures of academic performance. It makes sense that children do better when their education is controlled by those who know their unique needs best rather than by a federal bureaucrat. A strong homeschooling movement may also improve other forms of education. If competition improves goods and services in other areas of life, why wouldn't competition improve education? A large and growing homeschooling movement could inspire public and private schools to innovate and improve. When the government interferes with a parent's ability to choose the type of education that is best for their child, it is acting immorally and in a manner inconsistent with a free society. A government that infringes on the rights of homeschooling will eventually infringe on the rights of all parents. Homeschool children are more likely to embrace the philosophy of freedom and to join the efforts to restore liberty. In fact, I would not be surprised if the future leaders of the liberty movement were homeschooled. 
I believe so strongly in the homeschooling movement that I have just announced my own curriculum for homeschooling families. Please visit this revolutionary new project at www.ronpaulcurriculum.com. The old world is collapsing, and it's going to take its slave driver governments with it. But what will rise up in their place? In New Hampshire, the Shire Society has a plan, a thriving web forum, and a history of action. It didn't take long to come up with a plan. You can sign up right now at ShireSociety.com.